A new documentary casts a spotlight on threats to American democracy. Lies, Politics and Democracy, a new documentary from PBS and Frontline, focuses on former President Trump's false claims about the 2020 election. It includes interviews with key figures in the Republican Party and with journalists. I also participated in the film, which looks at how the consequences of Trump's efforts to overturn the election are still lingering over the American political scene. And every good American will wholeheartedly accept the will of the people. I accept the result of the election with complete goodwill. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. For more on this film, veteran and award-winning director Michael Kirk joins us now. Michael, so good to have you here. After making this particular film, what's your assessment of the state of American democracy? I've made uh, 15 films, Robert, during the uh, Trump administration. You were in many of them. Uh, been covering politics for almost 50 years, and I've never been more concerned, more alarmed, and, uh, and in a way saddened uh, than I was when we finished making this film. Why is that, Michael? I just really think we've, uh, of course, we all know that the country is deeply divided, but I, uh, this film is about the Republican Party and how it uh, protected and, uh, and uh, supported uh, Donald Trump, even though many of the leaders, as we hear in the film, which was largely only Republican uh, uh, interviews uh, and, and reporters, what we discovered was the extent to which they uh, supported what Trump was doing, even though they knew that it was uh, that it was a lie, that he didn't they didn't really believe that the election had been stolen. But we watched them uh, all the way through the events of January sixth and afterwards, as uh, as uh, as we uh, find ourselves where we are right now, heading into the midterms. When I watch this film, Michael, I keep wondering why. And what's your view of the answer to that question in, in the sense of why they do it? What's the piston? Is it purely power that makes people act in certain ways and overlook things they might have previously found egregious? Or is it more of a transaction where they're getting something in return, whether it's judicial nominees, despite their concerns of, about the president's conduct? What is it at the heart of this? Yes, I, I, it's a question we ask over and over again. And, and the, the simplest answer is that what somebody said, somebody told us, the definition of a politician is someone who wants to get reelected. And they'll do anything to be reelected. So that when you add in Faustian bargain, you know, a, a, a devil's bargain uh, uh, to get what they, uh, what they wanted, whether it's judicial appointments or uh, tax cuts or just to be reelected, uh, when, uh, when in the face of a threat from Trump, after he left Washington, that he would take the party with him, the MAGA party with him. Uh, the fear of that is what, in our film, we show the story of uh, Kevin McCarthy going back down to Mar-a-Lago to make peace with uh, with uh, Donald Trump, so that uh, 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 they would not the Republican Party and he himself would not lose the support of those MAGA voters. So it really does, Robert. You've been in politics for a long time, watching it closely. It really is, from my point of view, about the transaction of, I, I, I want to get reelected, and I'll do what it takes. And there's a sense of alarm that pervades the film. But what makes this alarm different? You are such a student of history uh, with all of your films. Uh, what makes this different than the McCarthy era or the rise of populism and nationalism in the early 90s with Pat Buchanan? Uh, what makes this different? The guardrails are down. Uh, Robert, the the norms, the political protections. I believed after all these years, the Constitution of the United States had a lot of protections built in. And one of the sobering things we learned in making this film, uh, including talking to all the Republicans we talked to, was the extent to which there are, it's only just a sort of informal set of rules and they can be blown right by. And, uh, and the fact that the guardrails are down uh, and really down, and that there isn't much to stop a president who decides, and a party who decides to uh, to break the rules, 
whatever the rules might be to make up a lie and uh, and had and have everybody in the party, uh, the, the elected leaders support it, um, which is shocking to me and alarming. I thought there were more protections in there uh, than there than there actually are. When you think, Michael, back to history and the guardrails during the Nixon era and Watergate, it was someone like Senator Barry Goldwater of Arizona right. going to the White House in the summer of 74 and essentially telling Nixon it's over. You've lost the support right. of your party. And that reminds me of your film, which includes analysis about that key meeting after the Capitol attack, when House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy went to visit former President Trump at his Florida home. Let's listen. It was like uh, when somebody's in cardiac arrest and you take the paddles and you bring them back to life. Trump's political career was in cardiac arrest and Kevin McCarthy brought the paddles and resurrected him. Michael, just to wrap up our conversation here, compare the McCarthy-Trump meeting in early 2021 to the Goldwater-Nixon meeting in 1974. What's the difference in the GOP? Well, the, the, the power of Goldwater and others going there and their, their relationship to Nixon. Nixon knew he was cooked, he was done. The, the, the force of their arguments, which said, you're going down. Uh, we're gonna support what we think of as the rule of law. You will be impeached. Well, uh, that was not the case with Donald Trump. They went down, uh, uh, in effect, Kevin McCarthy went down with, yes, the paddles, but also to kiss the ring. And his visit was followed by many of the other leaders members of the Republican Party who, who made their pilgrimage there as well. It tells you, it tells you the vast difference between the two and, and, and the tremendous power that, that Donald Trump has with the Republican Party. Michael Kirk, thank you very much. My pleasure, Robert. Thank you.